Hello everyone, this is Talanos, and welcome to the Chronicles of Odd Park, Day 10. Thank you guys for leaving uh, notes about the last uh, videos that I posted, and it sounds like you really enjoyed the discussion that I had with Vixor the other day, so I'll try to include some more of those as we go along. But for now, let's see how the town of Odd Park did on Day 10. Looking at the Gazette for the day, you see that we got up to 1,296 defense against 778 zombies. So we are still quite a bit ahead of the zombie attacks for the moment. We have uh, replenishment in the northeast. That'll be a little bit difficult because that is our ZDI zone and uh, more on that later. But that's going to be... A uh, trip that will require coordination because we'll need lots of people moving together to deal with the zombie population in that area. And then once again, uh, you can see Duckmeister trying to get into town. Someone was asking about who this Duckmeister guy is and if I can tell you about him. Well, if you've been watching the videos, you know he's so far he's our only death in town. And he died on day one, logged off, and didn't come back before the attack. So there's not too much to say about him except that he is now zombie and trying to eat our brains. So hopefully that answers your question about Duckmeister. For our day 10 upgrade, we are still trying to go with our plan of maxing out defensive focus. So as you can see, defensive focus here in the lead. I'm not sure why we have people voting workshop and watchtower right now. Seems like most people are in agreement that defensive focus here is the way to go. Here is a quick look at our well. As you can see, it's uh, getting down there pretty low. Uh, it may look bad now, but we actually have over 150 water rations in the bank, so we still have plenty of water. We only have one more water project left to get more, so we'll have to rely on about 150 rations from the mega pump when, whenever we get to building that, and then jerry cans throughout the day. Just having two or three of those a day can you know, almost make up for everyone's water needs. We're also trying to get a little stricter on water conservation. I may save that topic for another day, but we have some pretty good plans on how we can conserve water, regardless of whether we're going to be builders or scavengers. It was another day of solo scavenging for me, so that means it's time for another edition of Today's Haul. Today's Haul. Well, lo and behold, on day 10, I just happened to have found an engine. Incomplete as it were, but an engine nonetheless. Well, what is that going to do for us today? Probably not a whole lot. As you can see later on, we got the zombie situation handled pretty well. So plumbing seems kind of like a waste for us at this point. But hey, better late than never, I say. Anyway, uh, I also found a box of matches. Like I said, you can use that as a temporary defense when you combine it with a rotting log to make a torch. So very good for those zombie spikes because it requires no AP to build one. I also found a fat cat, which can be used as a pretty good zombie weapon. Uh, you can also carve it into steaks. So we'll probably end up eating that cat, but uh, he, he still has other uses for now too. Also found some nuts and bolts. Very important for the town right now. We're still about uh, 15 or so short of the number we need to complete all the buildings in town. Also brought back a twisted plank and a water pistol. I guess I was feeling in the plumbing mood. Probably not going to be of too much help for us, that water pistol. But uh, I don't think I passed up anything more valuable than another plank or some iron. Looking at construction for today, we built the stone cannon, which comes from the cannon mounds building that we built a few days ago. We also built the reinforcing beams from the ramparts expansion. So building up some more defense. It's also good to note right now that we're sort of running out of defensive buildings to build. So we're looking at some mega projects uh, after we run out of those and probably the upgradable wall soon so that we can have that to vote for once we max uh, defensive focus. Wanted to show you the progress we've made with clearing the map out of zombies. Uh, you can see here we've kept them pretty much in that northeast area. That's our new uh, zombie reservation, as we like to say. So the idea is to let those zones build up and then we can keep the rest of the map free. As I said earlier, there is a lower limit. We're not exactly sure what that is. Uh, we just know that towns have, have hit that and their whole map gets repopulated. So 
this is sort of our way of dealing with that. Uh, you can see the the plan, uh, the official plan here, where we have sort of the routes mapped out, so where we need to clear every day. So it doesn't take too much AP to clear the the zombies that we need to each day, and uh, so far it's been working out pretty well for us. But as you saw, when we have replenishment in the northeast, that means we're gonna have to take a big group in there to to deal with all those zombies there and make sure we have enough control points to hit all the spots. Speaking of clearing zombies, I wanted to give you another edition of Vix Tips. Vix Tips. And in this tip, he will be talking about how to clear zombies and uh, just how many do you need to clear in each zone. A uh, very good question to know the answer to. Pretty common question that people have is over the, the general mechanics of how zombies propagate and how they die and, and really how the overworld map works when it comes to moving from one day to the next. And one of the most important things to know that, uh, that we actually found out in the Itching Plantation of Shadows was that zombies die of despair if you kill other zombies in that tile. Essentially how it works, if you kill two zombies... Overnight, a third zombie will die, and this multiplies as much as you want. So if you walk into a, a, a zone that has nine zombies in it, you kill six of those zombies. For every two of those, that's going to be another one dead. So that's three zombies that are going to die overnight. That tile is going to empty overnight. However, of course, zombies repopulate based on the surrounding zones, so it may or may not be empty based on what zones are surrounding it. But it is vital to know so that you aren't wasting precious weapon uh, uh, uses or, you know, water shots. So this is uh, just another Vix tip. What does Day 11 have in store for the Odd Park? As you can see, we have a reduction in the zombies. So, you know, what can I say? Our luck's been pretty good so far. Shouldn't be a problem for us, as you saw. Well over a thousand defense now. We're just hanging back, waiting for the numbers to rise until we get to that point where we can't build anything that helps our defense anymore, and we have to rely on defensive items. That's all I've got for this edition of the Chronicles of Odd Park. Please remember to subscribe so you can see how long our town will last. Please ask your questions and leave comments below, and I'll try to get to them. Uh, we have a lot of users that have been answering questions too, so that is just great. So, you know, this is really becoming a great place to get some of those questions answered. And I'll see you guys on day 11.